situations. It is occasionally wiser to imitate the court jester, who plays the fool but knows he is smarter than the king. He talks and talks and entertains, and no one suspects that he is more than just a fool. Also, words can sometimes act as a kind of spook screen for any deception you might practice. By bending your listener's ear with talk, you can distract and mesmerize them. The more you talk, in fact, the less suspicious of you they become. The verbose not perceived as sly and manipulative, but as helpless and unsophisticated. This is the reverse of the silent policy employed by the powerful. By talking more and making yourself appear weaker and less intelligent than your mark, you can practice deception with greater ease. Here are some further reflections on this law. From the Little Brown Book of Anecdotes by Clifton Fadiman. Down on his 